And hello again, wrestling fans. Welcome to another edition of the Ontario Indie Road Trip Show. This is your source for all the great action that's happening around this great province of ours of Ontario. Thanks for joining us, whether you're watching on YouTube or Facebook, or you're listening to us on Stitcher, Spotify, iHeartRadio, or anywhere else you get your podcasts from. We are brought to you by our proud sponsors, CoolBet at CoolBet.com, and we're reminding you to stay cool and bet responsibly. They are a sponsor of all our shows, and we are thankful for their support in all that we do. On this week's episode, we have events coming your way throughout September 18th until October 31st. There's a lot of events going on, and I highly encourage you to get out there and get your tickets before they're sold out. There's limited seating because of uh, COVID protocols, so you don't want to miss out on all this action. Now, before we get to the list, we have a, a great guest this afternoon, and uh, we're going to discuss the upcoming show. The pandemic has been crazy with no shows. There's been shows without fans, and we've seen some promotions go by the wayside. We've seen some uh, promotions rise up. Uh, with different concepts. We've had uh, things like No Ring North with uh, their hardcore wrestling style. We've had Backyard Pro with comedy style. And now, Hammerlock Pure Wrestling, bringing back traditional catch-as-catch-can wrestling. Joining me right now is the owner of Hammerlock Pure Wrestling, Adam. How are you, Adam? I'm pretty good. How about yourself? No, uh, not bad. Uh, still uh, ailing with my uh, foot injury and uh, just sitting around going crazy waiting to go to a show. So uh, seeing this list uh, every week when I make it, it's uh, quite the uh, stuff that's going out there and everybody's uh, getting back from pandemic uh, craziness. So uh, I'm glad that uh, that's happening and uh, yeah, just happy that wrestling is alive and well still. Absolutely. It's great. It's great to see so many uh, promotions putting on so many shows and, and giving fans so much uh, different styles as well. Yeah. And that's why I pointed out with the fact that, you know, you have the hardcore style uh, with no ring North, the comedy with uh, uh, backyard pro and then everything else in between with all the other organizations out there. But this is something special as well. Uh, you want to tell fans about what, uh, Hammerlock Pure Wrestling is. So Hammerlock Pure Wrestling, uh, we're basically going back to the golden age of wrestling. So what, what we're doing is we're going back, uh, we're taking away the, the, the high flying, and we're really going back to the old school 1950s, 1960s, you know, Luthez type wrestling. We, we just feel that, it, for, you know, Myself personally, I, I just want to see that uh, that brand of wrestling come back. I think I think it, it, there's a lot of old school fans that have uh, you know somewhat uh, went into the shadows, uh, and I think it, it'll be a good chance to to have a different product out there that pays uh, homage to uh, you know the where wrestling came from and and what what made wrestling great yeah exactly i know uh, i sort of miss that uh, and a lot of people do um have a problem with all the flippy stuff that you see and it's kind of takes away the believability of the product when you can do three flips hit a super kick get uh, put down and pop right back up you know where's the reality in that whole thing and it's kind of taken away from that and i know i've said on some of our uh, shows um that i prefer uh the ground uh work of people like the former technicians of luthez uh even the uh, the garvins the hackenschmitz brett hart uh what did he do he went to the second turnbuckle and you hardly ever saw him leave his feet yeah type deal. you had technical wrestling and that's what's missing today. I loved when Steve Austin was a technical wrestler before he got dropped on his head accidentally and had to resort to the brawling style. Yeah. Steam, Steamboat Austin was amazing. And if you guys are able to bring that back, that's great. Absolutely. Like For us, uh, we, we really want to bring back the, the, the feel of, you know, if 
someone's hitting their finisher, it's a finisher. It's not, you know, we, we don't want to be a detriment to that wrestler by saying, oh, yeah, you're going to hit your finisher and then the guy's going to get up and then he's going to pin you. Because then it, it just it it kills that that wrestler's move set, that wrestler's finisher, the the the, the his go to move. Um, we're, we're going back to the old school way of the refs have a say, um, and 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 for us, uh, if if a, a wrestler is tired and and his both his shoulders are pinned, and that that ref gets to three, he gets to three, even if that's not. Where the this the the that match was supposed to end, that is the end. We're not we're not doing anything. Uh, you know we're going to do proper countouts. Uh, there there's no no hardcore matches for us. Uh, there are some great promotions out there that that really fill that that uh, that obligation. Yeah, and uh, that's the thing uh, where there's room for everybody to absolutely uh, do their own style. So. Uh... You know, this is going to be pure wrestling. Um, catch as catch can is, uh, is introduced it as, and you're going to have more chain wrestling. People are uh, going to be grappling more so than yes, what yes, we're abso seeing. absolutely. So th there's there's going to be a, a lot of move sets, a lot of a lot of mannerisms that are going to be used in the ring will be more based on the the athleticism and the a fight you know in, in general when, when you're in a fight you're not gonna throw somebody or knock them down and then take four or five steps back and wait for them to come back at you you're 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 getting on top of them and you're it's it's an attack mode so it, it is going to be a lot of fast action which you know Try and explain that to people. That yes, it, it is. It's it's all grappling, but it is a lot of fast action. It's yeah, nonstop. I know I've uh, been at the uh, school and seen uh, how the uh, chain wrestling has gone, uh, and just very awe-inspiring because you see everything uh, move, and there's a reason for each move to happen, not just something to be a wow factor. Absolutely, absolutely. It, it's I, I'm really excited. I, I'm really excited to, to to bring this to to Ontario, to southwestern Ontario. I'm hoping that uh, you know we can go into different markets uh, because I I do believe that uh, all over Ontario, all over Canada, North America, simply there is room for all styles, and uh, and, and we should really look at building each other. And because again, fan bases, you know, they appreciate it all. You've got the fan base that that likes the the high flying that appreciate, and then you got the fan base that likes the uh, the grappling and the catches catch can, and it really, uh, I I think there's a lot of room there for all of us to to grow the the entire love of wrestling. Yeah, and I think. Um possibly one of the best lessons to learn coming out of the pandemic for anybody who's running a promotion. It should be the mentality of co um, collaboration over competition. So Absolutely. if it's going to build a fan base, it, it should be greatly appreciated and welcomed because that's going to help you at the same time as it's going to help them. And it's going to help everybody have a job and give fans what they want. So I definitely applaud that uh, sort of mentality of the uh, collaboration over uh, competition uh, sort of idea. Now, people who are watching can see our, the banners I have on the screen, but we're talking about your very first show. Why tell us details about that? Absolutely. So our very first show is going to be in Strathroy at the Portuguese Canadian Club of Strathroy. Um we uh it's september 25th doors are going to open at six first bells at seven uh we're, we're really looking at uh ending the show by nine it's going to be a short show uh we've got uh right now five or six matches on the card uh we've got we we do have some very well experienced uh and well-known 
Ontario uh, uh, wrestlers uh, that are going to be on the card, which is fantastic. I, I, I do give props to all of them for for jumping on board with something so new and different and, and willing to take that risk. Um, I am not revealing the card. Uh, I won't be revealing the card. We're not doing promos for the show. We really want to try and bring people in while they have that open mind. Um, so that way, you know, if they hear a wrestler's name, who may not be doing what they normally do at other shows that they might be wrestling a little bit different. I don't want them to have that image of, Oh, this is what I'm going to expect. Uh, I, I really want, we're really looking at, at, at having everyone have an open mind and come to the show to enjoy wrestling. Uh, and, that, and that's the big thing. Um, we're, we are also going to be having um, an after party. Uh, so it, it's a, it's, it'll be a small venue, uh, for the after party at, uh, the rusty wrench. Uh, so there will be a chance to meet some of the wrestlers there afterwards. Uh, we are, we do have a different, a bit of a different setup, um, for our show where, uh, our wrestlers, uh, won't be, um, as interactive with the crowd so our, our wrestlers what we're looking at doing is we want to build those wrestlers we want we want that larger than life image of them um and, and we want people we want to bring back the days where you know at the end of the show people are standing outside waiting to see the guys leave and asking for autographs and and, and having that thrill of of meeting them um outside the the show um, we were, you know, we, we want to make sure that we, we, we have that, that, that divide. Um, it's like I said, I, I, five or six matches are on the card. It, it's going to be, uh, great. Uh, the, the main event it is, uh, I will, I will say it is a two out of three falls match. Um, and, and, and the guys that are in the main event are, are fantastic. Uh, wrestlers, they, they've uh, one has a lot of experience. The other one, he has quite a bit of experience. And from watching him train, he he is uh, a, a very big up and comer. That's awesome. Uh, and two or three falls. It's definitely a uh, very old school uh, mentality. I remember uh, the days of uh, in WWE uh, when the tag team titles or usually tag team toes, were put on the line in a 2 or 3 falls match so that it yeah. was an even competition and not just a, you caught me in a fluke uh, pin. You actually legitimately won or retained those uh, titles. So having something like that, uh, whether it's singles action or tag team action, is a proving ground for uh, athleticism. Oh, absolutely. Because... It, it, Anyone that that's stepped in the ring and, and in in any, like any wrestler has, has you know even a five minute match. Some wrestlers are you know when when it when they go all out for that five minutes, they're dying at the end. Now, when you think that you know you're you're looking at potentially having to do that three times back to back to back against somebody that you know it knows you has just wrestled you may have pinned you may not have pinned you and you have to get up and go at it again like that's it, it, it takes a lot of courage and it takes a lot of stamina to to, to get that done yeah i definitely am looking forward to the show and as you said uh they feel uh after matches they be seeking out those uh, autographs instead of you know the automatic uh meet and greets that uh, everybody else has uh helps also uh keep the characters alive uh, in that regards yes absolutely uh and, and over top of that as well uh we're, we're not doing any vip anything like that um it, it is a first come first serve uh we want to give all fans that opportunity to to get there and and have that front row ticket um and not 
you know, not have to worry about uh, having to, to spend extra, having to get there super early or anything like that. It's, you know, it is a first come first serve. When, you know, you get there, you get to choose your spot. Uh, you don't have to worry about looking for little names or looking where the VIP section is. It's you go and you sit down and you enjoy the show. Excellent. It is, it is also uh, a licensed event. Uh, so there, it, it is licensed, and there will be food. So the the Portuguese club uh, will be making food, and and people can go in and purchase. Uh, they've got a, a specialty Portuguese Portuguese sandwich that they will be making. Uh, I I unfortunately don't remember the name of it. It has a special name, uh, but I know I've had some of their food from when I've been having meetings with them, and they make delicious food. <laughs> Yeah, I know my wedding was uh, at a Portuguese club here in London and just amazing food and over the top hospitality. Plus, uh, one of my uh, friends is a uh, priest in uh, Strathroy and knows uh, the Portuguese uh, community really well and has spoke highly of their food uh, yes. in Strathroy. So that's uh, Two of the sponsors that uh, have basically uh, you've uh, hit on. Would you like to give a shout out to any of the other sponsors? Absolutely, uh, Nancy Powers. She she uh, Nancy Powers Photography. Uh, she was our she's our main event sponsor. Uh, so with with her her help and and her her sponsorship, it really helped us bring uh, the level of talent to to Strathroy that we are. Um, you know, again, my FM, they, they were fantastic. Uh, we, we've got radio ads playing in uh, in Strathroy. Uh, I did an interview. Uh, uh, Mick McGuire, who's who, he is the local boy. So I will drop his name. He is a local boy of Strathroy. He he got to do an interview, so they're playing his interview on the radio as well. Um, and then you know we've got Domino's, who's helped us by, uh, you know helping us get the word out they're 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 really helping us get it to people's homes um we've got uh pokes jewelers which you know again a lot of these sponsors knowing that the crowd that wrestling attracts realizes that you know anyone in the crowd is good will, will use will use these sponsors uh, so we've got Pogues Jewelers, we've got McDonald's, Byron Automotive. So if you need to get your car fixed before you come to the show, hit up Byron Automotive, get get that oil change, get that fixed, and come on out. And then you know Strathroy Sports, that was that was that was a really big one. Uh, I, I was very happy to have a, a sports store come on board uh, because again, uh, wrestling is a sport. Uh, I don't do it myself. And I have high respect for anyone that gets in that ring because it is a very physical and demanding sport. Um, and then uh, I am, I, 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 I do apologize. I've got one, I think another sponsor that I'm trying to, trying to remember their name and I want to make sure I get it right before I uh, say it. Yeah, not a problem. Uh, this while you're looking at that, uh, it's amazing the uh, people who are reaching out to you, especially uh, local community and keeping it uh, strong that way. James Pogue, uh, huge reputation in Strathroy on, over on Frank Street, and of course, uh, you know the, Nancy with her photography can't go wrong with uh, any of that in my FM. Local radio is uh, strong still in communities. Uh absolutely especially in those smaller communities right like they 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 do a lot for their 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 community and 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 it's it's great to be able to partner with them uh again it all of our sponsors really help us bring the caliber of of wrestlers to town uh if it wasn't for the for the sponsors uh it, it would it, it it could it could make it tough and uh, so I, I'm I'm so happy, so grateful to all of them. Uh, the other one that was uh, Doug and Marion's uh, bike and sales shop, bike sales and bike sales and repairs. Uh, 
you know, again, they, they were, you know, they, they came on as a sponsor. Uh, they, they love the, the local boy. So, you know, it, it, it's, it's a great support for him as well uh, to see these people come out when, you know, they, they hear that there, there's a local, a, a local wrestler that's making his hometown debut. Uh, and, and so it, it's going to be a great night. Um, it, we've, we all, we do have a capacity of around 300. We're over 50% sold out. Uh, so it's really important to get your tickets before we get to that point. Um, yep. because I, I really don't want to have to turn anyone away. Uh, I, I, I want to try and get everyone in. Uh, so yeah, so the, the sooner you can get your tickets, the better. And that was going to be one of my last questions for you. It was, how do fans get tickets to your show? So there, there's a couple ways. Uh, if you contact through, you know, our Instagram, our, uh, so Hammerlock Wrestling, uh, Hammerlock Pure Wrestling on Instagram, or Hammerlock Wrestling on Facebook, Hammerlock Apparel, um, you, any any of those. If, if you know me personally, you can contact me personally. Uh, and then to purchase to, to finalize the purchase, I obviously accept cash. Everyone accepts cash, uh, but you can go uh, with an e-transfer uh, at hammerlockapparel at gmail.com. Or if you go to hammerlockapparel.com, you can actually buy the tickets right off our website. Excellent. So yeah, there's plenty of uh, ways of getting uh, to uh, get your tickets obtained and, uh, it's not too far of a drive from anywhere. Like when I uh, promote things that happen here in London, uh, whether it was the Taco Fest, uh, Hot Sauce Expo, or Rib Fest, London is such a quick drive from anywhere within Ontario. Two hours is nothing to hop in a car to do. An extra couple of minutes to go to Strathroy, just as simple. So come on out, support great wrestling. Support a new organization in Hammerlock Pure Wrestling, a different side of wrestling than you may be used to, something that's going to catch your eye, something you might be wanting to have brought back and has been sorely missing in the land of high flyers. There's something for everybody in Ontario, and Hammerlock Pure Wrestling is going to be one of those things that is going to catch on, I feel, really quickly and going to be able to go to different locations throughout Ontario, and you don't want to miss it. And this is the inaugural show, so get there and support. History in the making. History in the making. So I want to thank you. Uh, Anything else you want to add before we uh, check out and look at the rest of the events uh, happening in Ontario? No, I I, I want to thank you for for having me on the the podcast. It's greatly appreciated, Uh, you know, Obviously, I want to try and get the word out as much as possible. Uh, and, and, you know, you guys all do a great job. So I, 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 I do truly appreciate you giving me the time. Again, being so new, being different, it, it, it's, it's nice having that, uh, that, that ability to, to get the word out. Excellent. Yeah, anytime. Uh, you're totally welcome uh, here, as we discussed off air a uh, bunch of times uh, in person as well, uh, even at the uh, filming uh, last week. Um, so I'm also going to be doing more shout outs throughout the, the time getting up to the 25th. If you uh, want to come back in, uh, we can do that. And the day of, I know I'm going to be helping out uh, with the show, but I'm also going to be uh, sneaking some uh, shout outs to uh, get people to come to Strathroy during that on the live day. So there's a lot going on. There's no excuse to miss this show, fans. Thank you, Adam, for being part of this and spreading the word. Thank you. Have a great one. You as well. And that was Adam from uh, Hammerlock Pure Wrestling. Let me get this banner down. And we will be right back in just a moment with the full list of shows happening between September 18th and the 31st of October. (laughs) 